Yo, what is up guys? It's Merc and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys all are having a good day. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded. It's been a couple days since I haven't uploaded and I do apologize for that. And I feel like I always say this every time I upload a video, which is kind of repetitive and kind of stupid of me, honestly. But uh, anyways, getting into today's video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the top three most overpowered locations in Fortnite Battle Royale. So this is for all Fortnite um, platforms, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, it's obviously all the same. Um, but these are three locations that not very many people know about and honestly have at least more than four chests. And these are personal locations that I usually hit. And uh, usually I don't have any encounters or nobody I run into or anything like that whenever I go to these locations. So that's why I feel like these locations are really good and you end up getting a lot of loot from landing here as well. But these locations are really hidden and uh, not that very many people know about them personally. I don't know. Not, you know, I have, majority of the time that I go these spots, um, I never run into somebody. But if you're a person that likes to right away jump into battle or something, uh, these spots are not for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first location is located on the B4 side of the map. I'll put the map up on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's to the left of Pleasant Park. And uh, this location is basically a big kind of like factory warehouse looking thing. I don't really know what to call it or what to explain it. I don't know. It's just a really big house, honestly. And um, basically, whenever you land in this house, uh, what you guys are going to be finding is you will find at least two or three chests inside of the house itself. Uh, you just have to look through the house make sure you're wearing your headphones or whatever, you know, in order to sound whore in the game. Uh, it'll definitely help you. And then once you land there, you're going to want to go off to the side. You guys will see a meteor hit actually um, to the left of the building. And once you go there, there's going to be a semi actually. And uh, in that semi, there's most likely a chest as well as the crystals. If you guys like to pick those up, there's also loot that spawns around that area. So mainly one of the reasons that I go over there is for the other loot and for the chest that usually spawns in there before there used to be a truck back here uh, but unfortunately they removed it i'm not sure where it went uh, i don't think the comment was if the truck was where the comment hit now but they replaced the comment and now that there is a good looting spot right there you will end up getting at least four chests as well as some other loot along the side and uh, yeah that's the first location the second location we have is right next to it. it's actually in almost the same spot it is also in b4 on the map uh, a little bit on B4 and B5. It is the mountain or the evil lair that is located on the B4, B5 side of the map. And uh, I will show you guys exactly where it's at on the map so you guys aren't confused or, you know, not knowing. I'm going to show you guys gameplay as well so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, basically, this is the evil lair or I guess, you know, as you guys know, whenever they updated season four, the comment or the comment update, I guess you guys can call it or the meteor update. Uh, they added a hero base as well as a villain base and this is the villain base that has a big rocket going in the inside of it and in this little lair you will be able to find at least three to four chests in the inside of it and uh, there's some other loot on top of the mountain as well at least another chest or basic loot that lands and uh, yeah this is one of my favorite spots to go if the bus ends up going nearby it or in general if you know a lot of the places look like they're going to be looted or whatever i recommend going to these places if you are a solo or a duo game um, if you're rolling with the squad most likely you're not going to have enough stuff to be able to you know fill up your squad or everybody with you um, i definitely just would go this go these areas if you are a solo or a duo you just want to go through the whole evil lair and you just want to look really closely and really deeply and try to find out where everything actually is because i know sometimes it can be difficult but usually you just want to use those headphones to your advantage uh, again they help out a lot but yeah that is the second location now we're going to move on to the third all right moving on to the third location and our last location is d2 which is the hotel as well as the other structure or the hole that is nearby it as well um, if you guys have not gone to the little motel in D2, uh, I recommend going to this place. Usually there is a lot of chests that land here, not only in the abandoned houses next to it, but in the motel itself. You will find at least three to four chests throughout this whole thing, maybe even five, I believe, as well as the regular loot that it drops off on the side or the, uh, I don't even know what they, what they call it. I'm trying to think of the name here right now, or it's just the loot that's on the floor already in the game. 
um, but you just want to go through this whole motel there's like three chests that spawn in this motel usually and then in the outside in the abandoned houses there at least is one chest or two chests in both the abandoned houses but that is pretty much it for this video those are three overpowered locations that are hidden throughout the map hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did find it useful if you guys could help me out with a like that'd be super super appreciated if we could get this video to 30 likes that would make my day hope you guys all have a good rest of your day i've been merc and i will see you guys later